watching this channel right now, you already know you're spending some downtime with the meal. How are you guys doing today, man? I hope you're doing well on this beautiful Friday evening. It's the weekend, so let's just be grateful for that. But that's not what this video is about. Normally, when I do a video, I'm doing a video on a trailer that just dropped or a movie that I went to go see or a movie I'm looking forward to or a video game trail or something like that. And this video is going to be different because this video, for those of you who've been following me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, this is a video that I've been talking about for a long time and I wanted to put this video out on my channel. You guys are the first ones to see this before anybody else. The animated teaser, a 30 second, 30 second animated teaser of the Hulk versus Wolverine that I created. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Can't wait to see your reaction to this. Before I get into the video, I will tell you that if you look down here at the bottom, I'm gonna just post a little message of where you can go in the video if you wanna just jump right to the video and you don't wanna hear me babble on and on, you can go watch it just by jumping to this little mark right down here. You can go watch it and check it out and leave a comment. Also, before I get into the video, I'm just gonna do a chat about the Hulk versus Wolverine and who do I think would win and why. So I think it's gonna be interesting. Before we get into all of that, if you're new to this channel and if you like the content that I produce, don't forget to leave a Hulk smash on that like and a Hulk smash on that subscribe. If you hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. It makes the videos more viewable and it pushes them up so more people can see them. So leave a like if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe too. If you turn that notification bell, you'll be notified, or excuse me, if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time a video goes live on this channel. So, you can also follow me on Twitter, right down here in the corner, at Demille Hunt. So when you talk about the Hulk versus Wolverine and who would win, you know, the thing about it is in the comics, they've had battles before. And, you know, the way I look at it is like this. The Hulk, I mean, you're talking about probably the most, one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. You know, there's really not many characters more powerful than him. Not to say he's the most powerful, but he's one of the most. He's, he's way up there near the top. And so you just talk about raw power. You're talking about someone that, a character, man, that can level a skyscraper easily you're talking about a character that can pick up a tank and throw it miles like it's a tin can easily without effort you know someone that can just jump in the air just jump like a mile easily raw power you know it's 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 hard to find another character that's on that level unless you're talking about thanos of course we know in infinity war thanos beat down the hulk in just a matter of seconds but other than Thanos and maybe a few other characters, it's not that many more powerful than him in Marvel. So when you talk about Wolverine, it's a different story because Wolverine, he doesn't have that straight up raw power like the Hulk has. But what he has is his senses. He's very quick. He has those adamantium claws that can pretty much cut through anything. And he can he can regenerate himself if he gets hurt, if he gets shot. I mean, you can probably cut his arm off and it'll grow back probably, you know, and that's his that's his power. I don't think that in a straight up one on one fight that Wolverine would beat the Hulk. I think Wolverine would have to really use like some sort of strategy. He'd have to use his senses. He'd have to really, you know, use his senses to where he can pick up on the Hulk scent like from miles away before the Hulk even knew he was there, you know, something like that. He'd probably have to come up with some trickery, you know, probably have to cut his eyes out or, you know, cut his head off, you know, some kind of way like that. And even then it's going to be hard because, you know, the angrier Hulk gets, the more stronger he gets. So the Hulk is just this unstoppable force. And it's not too many... It's not too many people, man, unless, you know, you come with some magic or something like that. 
and Wolverine doesn't have any magic, so it's hard to see Wolverine beating the Hulk in a straight up, straight up fight. I just, I, I cannot see it. Um, he would have to have some kind of trickery. He'd have to be smarter than the Hulk. He cannot let the Hulk just get his hands on him because we, if you remember in the comics, the Hulk just ripped apart Wolverine, broke him in half. You know, that's just how powerful he was. Now, Wolverine, actually, if I'm not mistaken, he survived that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's not, it's like Pee Wee Herman. Well, probably, that's a bad example. I was going to say Pee Wee Herman against Mike Tyson in his prime. But no, that's, that's, not, that's not the best example. But just know that if Wolverine has a chance, which he does have a chance, Wolverine is very, very powerful. He's very smart. He's very quick. He's very intelligent. He does not die, basically. So the Hulk would have to find a way to kill someone who can't be killed. But in the end, I think the Hulk would win this match. Um, I think the Hulk would win because the Hulk, you know, even though he may not be as smart as Wolverine, even though he may not be as quick as Wolverine, he still has some long range attacks. If he does that, that clap like that, and, and Wolverine is anywhere close to him, Wolverine gets obliterated, you know, or he'll probably heal again, though. That's the thing. But, you know, those long range attacks, you know, Hulk can throw boulders at Wolverine. He can do the clap. I mean, you know, it's just it's one of those things where Wolverine's best chance is to get in close. It's just that simple. There's no other way. But, you know, I've been a Hulk fan for a while, man. You know, I drew this actually in one of my art classes that I um, actually just graduated in uh, just a couple of months ago. And this was a picture of the Hulk that I drew um, from the uh, Hulk movie with Ed Norton. And, you know, just a part of my fandom, man. Always been a uh, Hulk fan. Grew up watching the uh, 80s Hulk show with Bill Bixby and, uh, of course, Lou Ferrigno. My love for the Hulk goes way back. But... I think I've babbled enough about the Hulk versus Wolverine. Now is the time where you're getting ready to see this animated teaser. Now, this is a 30 second animated teaser, right? So it's not gonna be five minutes or you know an hour, it's 30 seconds. And it took a long time to create this and I didn't have any help, I did this all by myself. So I want you guys to check this out and I'm gonna do a reaction to my own video for the first time on YouTube, man. Real excited about this. So here we go, putting on my headphones. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Let me make this full screen so I can see it. And here we go. Let's do this. versus Wolverine teaser. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Man, let me tell you something. That was not easy. That took a long time, man. That that 30 seconds that you just watched, that was like, man, you know, I started this project uh, July 26th or July 27th of this year, and today is uh I had time, I mean, you know, I work, I do something else, you know, full time for another job, but you know, this is what I did in my spare time because I knew that I wanted to create this. So hopefully I can get a job in the animation industry and maybe work at ILM or someplace like that. 
and uh so this is a great step towards that and uh but man that was uh that was the hulk versus wolverine teaser that i've been talking about for so long a lot of frustrating nights man working on that a lot of frustrating nights here's an interesting fact about that this was actually supposed to be hulk versus thanos but i could not find a thanos rig i could not find a thanos rig and because of that it just made things uh a little difficult and i was like well man what am i gonna do you know if i can't find a thanos rig you know i'm gonna have to be able to uh come up with something and, and i was just going for some exercise one day and the thought came to my mind and i said well wait a minute why not just do wolverine so then i thought and this was only supposed to be like really just a, a six or seven six or seven seconds short originally so turned out to be 30 something seconds or maybe 30 seconds but anyway i'm happy with this and you know this occasion right here man in all honesty for those artists out there you know animators if you're watching this just to do 10 seconds of animation is not easy it takes a lot a lot a lot of effort a lot a lot of time and this was 30 something seconds and it's a milestone for me i'm gonna celebrate this victory with a glass of champagne feel free to raise your glasses with me as i get ready to pop this because you know man let me tell you yeah let me go ahead and just get this bottle nice and dry because i don't need no problems with this i don't want to slip out of my hand and i'm gonna pop a bottle of champagne to celebrate this victory of just getting this done been waiting for a long time so here we go let me take off this little wrapper right here this little metal thing and just grab the top here we go i guess i'll shake it up just a little bit just a little shake you know just a little bit i don't need a whole lot but just a little bit i want a little bubbly it's friday happy hour here we go come on <laughs> oh man <laughs> I got champagne all over the floor wow well that's what we celebrate right there baby that's what we celebrate right there cheers mm. that tastes good look I got some mess to clean up in here <laughs> have an awesome day if you can see this video you are truly blessed and as always what are you going to do in your downtime? Peace. Subscribe!